And we are back. Welcome to watch Max Payne 3 gameplay walkthrough. And here we are. The place we ended dead last time. I hope this time things will go better. At least after a couple of try tries. Uh, uh, don't know what I have in store for you today. I guess we'll be doing this part a couple more times. This is really gonna be pain in my ass since these guys are heavily armored and I have to take a pretty good headshots to get this get these guys off your ass. Oh no, that's better, way better. Use that flashlight. The bad thing about this is gonna be some somebody's going to lurk at me just like that. Showing Max. Oh great. I guess I'll be using that gas canister next time. Cause there's gonna be company coming right at my way up these stairs. I have the advantage. Get up here. I'm afraid those bullets. Oh shit. I'm afraid those bullets. Alright. Yeah. Shoot the gas can. Come on. Let's go pick those guys out. I hope. Great. Now I have one jar of painkillers with me, so that's gonna make things a lot easier gonna come right at me. Uh, take an offensive lunch there. Oh you and that was easy. And who's next? Let's see. Alright. Okay. This one better than I had anticipated. Now let's take this this dive. This guy is out before they can do more damage. Up on the balcony. Ah, oh, downstairs one. Okay, that's the easy one. And now I should do this part like so. All right, thousand kills. Well, that look weird. Flashlight effect. I guess that was the. Last one this time. So I look around in case of some. All right, looking good. Pool table. It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. <laughs> Okay. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. Holy it was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. Take out the trash. Just leave them there, rot. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was gonna get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. 
Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcello. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! Gang execution. Squat radical. Don't you think? Taking those guys out with some style. One of the benefits of sobriety. What's up? Why did they do that to Marcelo? It's a legendary gang way of killing people. This is no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people it took. Shh. Give us this. Foi um americano. Foi. Foi. He's blaming you for the death of his friend. That American. Cosa morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Mata ele. Pode deixar, eu mato. Some rest. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, we learned to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Passo said there's a good place to hide in the back. Just try to stay calm. <laughs> You bet it's time to move. Oh, well, that's way a better place then. Hide in a crowd. I guess this is it. No, keep going. Go to the back alley. Wait to be cornered it's once again. That's the smartest move so far. Alright, it's time to call it quits for now. I want to thank you for watching and stay tuned for 
the next part coming soon.